It was a young team they brought here filled with players based in the United States and Jamaica. But now it's time for the red, white, and blue. Your six-time Gold Cup champs. Let's send it back upstairs. John, Stu, Landon with the call of this. And Rob, those six championships that date back to 1991, it's an incredible fraternity of American men stretching a couple different eras of U.S. soccer. What have we learned about these players? What have we learned about Bruce Arena 2.0 as coach of the national team? This tournament started, John, with trying to figure out which of these players could help the national team going forward in qualifying and potentially in the World Cup next year. We learned a lot of lessons. Kellen Acosta, a little bit up and down. Villafania solidifying that left back role. Graham Zuzzi tonight with a good effort. Jordan Morris now putting himself in very good position to be part of this team going forward. But that man, Bruce Arena, has been fantastic. And we talked about it during the broadcast. You could see it in people's faces. You could hear it, not only in the players, but the staff. They are happy and comfortable, Stu, and they look like they're genuinely enjoying themselves. And most importantly, winning is a habit. And Bruce Arena has created a culture within this team in such a short period that they expect to win. They want to win. They are hungry to win. And this group right now, when you look around, they enjoy coming into camp. They enjoy putting on the shirt and representing the United States in a good way. And this winning feeling will continue without a doubt into those September qualifiers to potentially book their place in Russia next year, which is the big goal that everybody is looking for. You see all the smiles on the faces. And for that man, Michael Bradley, he wasn't there in Chicago in 2007, suspended for the final. He was already on his way to the Copa America that year. In fact, last month when Toronto FC won the Canadian Championship, it was the first time he was actually there in person to lift a trophy. He's going to get to do it again. Yes, there's work to be done in September and October, but this is an important moment for a U.S. team that has talked so much about rebuilding things from the state they were in in November, rebuilding a sense of team from this pool of players, as Bruce Arena phrased it to us yesterday, getting back to the summit of CONCACAF. And what does the future hold less than a year away when all of us are watching a lot of these same faces in Russia, we hope, at the 2018 FIFA World Cup. For now, though, it's the 2017 CONCACAF Gold Cup that the United States has won. Summer of soccer isn't done. Landon will bid you adieu, but Stu and I and Rob and Alexi are on our way to Atlanta Saturday afternoon. Atlanta United against Orlando City and MLS action on Fox. It's been a fun couple of weeks. Deserving smiles on the faces of those U.S. players. Rob Stone, back over to you. Well, the ship is back on course, John Strong. Eight months ago, it was a low point for this program. Two straight losses to open up World Cup qualifying. Losing at home to Mexico, getting shut out in ugly fashion in Costa Rica, and now they're back in contention for the World Cup, and they are your Gold Cup winners.